Okay, so the other day I was doing my first video on die cast restorations, and um, I used my technique for disassembling the cars, and I promised you I would come back and show you how to do it. So that's what we're going to do today. Don't go away. Hey everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. I promised in the video where I restored the uh, Matchbox Rolls Royce that I would come back and do a video entirely on how I disassemble die-cast cars. I came up with something different. Why? Because I was a moron at disassembling these cars. I am not exaggerating. All of this is 100% God's honest truth. I have drilled through hoods of cars. I have drilled into my hand. Let me tell you something. That's not something you want to do. I have blown out countless posts. I, I have just made an absolute shambles of it. In fact, in my last serious uh, pass at doing die-cast car restorations, um, it kind of stopped because of my inability to satisfactorily and easily drill out these posts. I, I just, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. I didn't like it, so I stopped doing it. Well, now I'm back into it, and I needed to solve the problem, for me at least, on how to drill these posts out consistently, time and time again. So... I've come up with a way, I'm going to share it with you right now. All right, here I have a, a bunch of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars that are on my work table, ready for a restoration. And uh, you see the, some of the different drill bit screws and things like that. And right here you can see my secret weapon. These are called Vix Bits. So let me give you a quick rundown as we take a look at these. I think today I'm going to go ahead and start with this uh, Lola GT, okay? And I think we'll go ahead and do this uh, this Mercedes 230 SL, okay? So these are the, the usual suspects, okay? These are drill bits I bought from Bright Vision, okay? It comes with one of four, drilling the center of the post, and that goes with these little screws. Uh, these are 256 screws, and uh, this is the, the drill bit that they, they include. And here's the uh, bit that they give you to drill off the end of the rivet, all right? So that's the usual way to do it. Uh, now, like I said at the top of the video um i don't have a lot of luck with that um yeah i really have drilled into my own hand and it was not fun i can tell you so i needed to find a way to make this work better and so what i decided to do is i decided to turn to uh one of my other skills woodworking now this is called a vix bit this is a number five vix bit and what this is for is for uh consistently placing hinges and cabinetry and what you would have is you would have your cabinet and uh, you'd have a plastic template filled with little holes and here let me zoom in for you okay you see this little tapered end here this tapered end would fit into the hole and it would kind of center it okay and then you could start drilling and as you started drilling You'd push, and the drill bit would actually come out from the middle of this bit through that little hole there, okay? And as long as you use the same VIX bit, the same template, and the same hole, you could go through to every cabinet and have perfectly, identically placed self-centered holes. So I pulled one of these out, and I'm going to zoom back out here. So I pulled one of these out, and I thought to myself, well, maybe there's something here that could 
help me come up with a way to drill out these cars because really that's the problem is centering and keeping centered the drill bit on the rivet of the car. All right. Now a hot wheel, we're going to do one on a hot wheel first because it's the toughest to do. Um, in this car, you don't really get this this much, okay? In this car, you have a very flat rivet, okay? See how flat that is? But in a lot of them, they're kind of like a dome, okay? The dome ones are really terrible to do. This is the second worst, okay? On a matchbox, so you got that beautiful little dent in there that can you can put your drill bit right in there. So you don't really have to use my method to drill out matchbox cars per se, but there's a good reason to use it anyhow. And I'll talk about that when we get to the matchbox. So let's put that one to the side for now. How's that work for you? Right there. That good? Okay. So I got my car. I got my drill. I got my Vix bit. I'm pushing down. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. Right in the dead center. I didn't have to do anything except just put the little tip over that rivet. Okay. A little more. Okay. Look at that. And here we have... Here we have one of my all-time favorites, a twin mill. And don't ask me how this happened. Look at look at this paint job on this. Okay, those look like original rivets. Maybe I'll find out when I take this apart that this was put back together again. But they look like original rivets right there. But look at the green on the bottom and the color on the top. Maybe I shouldn't rest, restore this one. I might put this to the side just because it's so interesting looking. Here we go. Here's an old beatnik bandit that has some rivets in it. And we can take that apart just for fun. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so again, let's find a, a Vix bit that's going to work. This is the, the big one. It's too big for this one. See how it's inset there? But that's actually good for us. That's going to be the easiest because this is going to just fit right in that hole. As sweet as pie. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be so easy. This one too. Oh, this is going to be so easy to do. Okay, watch this. All right, watch this. You're going to love this one. Yes, some cars are easier than others. This one is going to be just beautiful. All right, we'll chuck up the... Number five. Okay. And let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay. So number five. And it's going to sit right in that little hole there. Perfect. Perfect as you please now. And then just a little bit of speed. A little bit of pressure. Oh gosh, it doesn't get any better and easier than that. Look at that. You just, I mean, it's perfect. And let's do the front. As I told you, it's going to work great on the front too. This is a car where the front you're really faced with a lot of issues on the front of this because it's so shallow right here, okay? Look, at, you don't have a lot of room to work with. This one, I don't know if you can get away without gluing that. All right, but look at that hole. Look how perfectly that is. All right, now in this instance, these are pretty giant rivets, okay? And I could... Just start by drilling it out using my normal bit because Matchbox dimpled their rivets, okay? So I could do that. 
But I still like the security of having the bit being held. Okay? And now, this rivet here, it's too big for both the three and the five. So this is where this uh, number nine will come in handy. Okay? Because it'll fit nicely over that rivet. But really... With that number nine, all I'm going to do is use just the very tip of the drill bit just to concave that a little bit more, okay? So let's go ahead and chuck that up. And at this point, depending on the rivets, will depend on the method that you're going to use. I could probably drill this one apart okay without using the VIX bits, but I have them. They give me some added security and centering, so why not use them, okay? So I can put that down over there and see it's nice, firm, and I'm going to just start drilling nice and slowly. Okay, just enough to kind of really get me going here. Okay, can you see that? Nice and centered. I'll do the same thing on this side. That's all. That's what we have now. Now, I don't like the fit of any of the VIX bits over this, and I've got a really great dimple now, so I think I'm going to just use the regular drill bit to drill the center out. So let's go ahead and do that now. Get that bit chucked up. Okay, all right, so here we go, right in there, real slow at first, Let's speed it up. Do the other side. Okay, so we've got this little fire truck here. And if you look under its, its typical tab front, single rivet in the back. I'm going to use the large VIX bit to kind of eat away most of that and get me prepped. So I'm just going to... Nice and easy here. Take a little more off. Okay. Yeah, so I think that'll come apart pretty easily now. Okay, so there you have it. Taking apart die-cast cars using VIX bits. Now, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have not had 100% success, but my success rate is vastly higher than when I wasn't using VIX bits. And, and I think really my problem that I'm still having is figuring out the right workflow. So do I use this bit? Do I use this bit? 
Do I use a regular drill bit? You know, what do I use when and where? What is the best combination? But I will tell you this, to get started, there's nothing better than the VIX bit. And depending on your personal situation, it can be the answer to your prayers. It certainly has been for me. Now, like I said, I haven't got all the kinks worked out. If you have any input on this, suggestions on how to make this work better, um, I'd love to hear it. But I really think this could be a game changer in diecast restoration. So get yourself a VIX bit and give it a shot. I'm going to put a link where you can buy this three pack uh, down below in the comments section. And uh, while you're there, it would be a great time to leave a comment because never before in any of my videos have I needed comments more than I do here. Let me know what you think. Ask any questions. Give any suggestions you might have on how to take this to the next level. All right, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, keep smiling, keep restoring diecast cars, have a great day, and be good.